bacon cure experiment part two one take all right so we put this in fridge if you remember from the last video about four days ago uh just feeling the texture of this i actually think this is ready i think this butcher paper is a cheat code i have not looked at this yet so let's take a look now so just looking and feeling the texture that looks great all right, so let me go rinse this off. Thought process here was when you do Ziploc bag and a vacuum seal like we did the first time, that moisture really doesn't have an opportunity to escape. But if you do it without a bag, you don't have any type of sealed environment. The butcher paper solves both problems. It allows you to wrap up the pork belly, but because butcher paper is breathable, that allowed this to do, in my opinion, what I think would have took seven days the normal way and about three and a half, four. So at this point, we're gonna put this on the smoker at 200 degrees until we get an internal temperature of around 145, 150. It should take about two, three hours. So I have put two meter probes in. If you are gonna use a probe, I recommend going in the way that you cut, because if you go in this way, when you slice your bacon uh, vertically, you'll have holes. So we are gonna go fat cap up and let that go. And this is why I really like using two probes when doing this. If you notice, we almost have like a 20 degree internal difference, one side to the other. Obviously that's some type of heat zone because we've got 213 degrees on probe two and 167 degrees on probe one. Rotate that piece around to get more even cooking. About three hours, that is our end result. We'll go ahead and cut into this. So we're gonna fry this off in our cast iron. And there's our result. We're not gonna waste this bacon grease. I'm actually going to take a roast and add that right in. You wanna get that nice crust. While we wait, 